They sent back on their journey from the 1600. Perfect beginning. They came out as one. Sylvester the Cat in the orange silks is right there. Last winter in the yellow silks is committing early. Union Jacks only a length and a half off the lead. Double clutch on the outside. Then we find Secret Warning. Run Rhino runs, travelling hard against the steel towards the inside. Secret Warning the white cap. Carbon offset towards the inner. Master and Commander, Black Sleeves and Cap. Caribbean Day has dropped anchor, six lengths off them. Sylvester the Cat is doing the towing by a length and a half. Run Rhino Run is now let loose on the outside. Run Rhino Run now picks it up, extends by two from Sylvester the Cat. Last winter's back in third, just gets a shake of the reins to stay interested past the 700 peg. Union Jack, secret warning further back. Double Clutch has lost touch. Double Clutch has gone out the back door at this stage. Carbon offset to the inside. Master and Commander Caribbean Day. Run Rhino run at the top of the lane. 4.50 to go. Sylvester the Cat towards the outside. Last winter goes in. Union Jack tries to get closer. Carbon offset. Last winter now pause on the pressure coming to the 300. Sylvester the Cat's back second. Union Jack's running on. But last winter quickened away inside the 200 metre marker last winter by two and a half lengths from Union Jack the last 100 metres and it's last winter he's going to come through with flying colours as he gives all the right answers Union Jack, Carbon Offset and Caribbean Day Last winter, three from three. Well done to the Dean Canamayo stable, Anthony Del Pesh, a talented individual, and he goes three from three today. Lovely specimen, good action. He covers the ground. He gets the seal of approval from Anthony Del Pesh. Union Jack second. Carbon offset runs third. Caribbean day. Sylvester the Cat, Master and Commander. Last winter, he made his promise coming to the 300 meter marker. He came forward to hit the front, and then he goes on for a cozy victory. Coming to the last 180 meters, last winter, the Western winter, bred the, the De Bayers, 3.7 million rand purchase for the Kaya Stables. Last winter, three from three, Anthony Del Pesh and Dean Canamaya. There you can see that lovely stretch action back to the studio. Just seen the running of race number six and number five last winter, as we mentioned. He's got the pedigree, he's got the looks, and he certainly has got that athletic ability. Now three from three, showing his, uh, himself at the track. And uh, Dean's going to tell us a bit more about uh, the long break from a juvenile to his three-year-old career. But firstly, Dean, before we even touch on that, uh, a super uh, racehorse that's uh, an absolute gentleman as well. And he walked in here... He, he knows what it's all about, doesn't he? I must just add, you said, uh, you know, that he's got the looks, he's got the pedigree, he's got a very patient owner. And very that important, Dean. That helps, yeah, absolutely. A Kai Racing, staunch supporters of yours. Yeah, well, uh, uh, good luck to Lady Laidlaw, and I hope she's watching. And um, John Malaba picked him as, as a yearling at the CDS sales, and uh, now he's got the pedigree, and Peter De Beer, but his mother was very good, as I said before. And, um, you know, he's, he's, he's hardly raced. Um, he was a late developer and we gave him one run and then we took him back to Cape as you know, and uh, we didn't race him there and uh, brought him back. He had one run, this is his third run and uh, the handicapper gave him uh, four kilos for his last win and he's come through it very well. I think he's a horse that would be a very nice four-year-old and uh, so well done to my whole team and uh, I think uh, Kaya Stables later, later was going to have a lot of fun with him. But uh, he's, he's a beautifully balanced horse, and, uh, but it's so important, you know, that... Uh, that uh, owner's patient because sometimes you've got horses and if you, if you rush him, you know, you, you, you can just you can end the career or, or just, you know, they just stunt that, that progress you're supposed to make. So it was fantastic. So I'm very excited about this horse win, uh, horse's win and um, I think uh, I look forward to the summer with him and I don't really want to, uh, you know, blow my trumpet here, but uh, yeah, he's a smart colt. One thing I mentioned in my preview, he had to answer a few questions today. You, you had to get him running, you had to put him somewhere. Yeah, you chose this race and there were some horses that have been around the block here. Yeah, no, absolutely. Some hard knockers. You know, he's, 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 uh, he's a three-hour case rising four, but um, 
Yeah, there were some, some tough campaigners have been around, you know, it's, he's, he's, he doesn't really know what it's racing is all about, and as Anthony was saying in the ring before the time, he's only now starting to, to grow into that frame of his, you know, he's out of a Silvana mare, which is typical, that, uh, yeah, we've just got to look after him and, and do all the right things, and um, up the handicap, it doesn't get carried away. Well, we wish you all the best with him, Dean. I mean, under this performance, we're going to pencil him in and see where you place him next. But all the best to yourself, Kaya you. Stables, and your team for a superb job with this horse. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Well done. Dean Canamea. Let's get Jockey Del Pesh in. And uh, Anthony, all three rides you've partnered him. So this is a horse that you've known as a youngster. Yeah, I've known him from the word go and always thought he's going to be a nice horse. He's shown us at home. Lovely horse, but he's... He went wrong early and I think the best thing that ever happened to him, he, he got too mature to come into a proper horse. I mean, he stood out in the ring today and, you know, I was actually under pressure today throwing him I'm, because I, I think so highly of him and I don't want him to get beat, you know what I mean? And I think he's, he's going to be a smart horse and uh, he's a horse to follow and, you know, Lady Laidlaw has put her money down and she's bought us so many nice horses and she deserves a very good one and let's hope this one can be a good one for her. There was form in this race, uh, Bonds. There was form in this race, all the horses. But the way he's come through and the way he walked into this ring, I mean, not a drop of sweat. He just took the race in him, within himself. Jeez, this is this horse's third run. Yes. People forget it's only his third run, and it's, it's phenomenal. It's, it's not easy. I, I thought it was a hard race for him today. I thought a lot of horses with good form behind them. You have a look at it. And it's his third run. He's a big baby still, and he's got a lot to learn. And touch wood, nothing goes wrong. And I think he's got a very smart horse. Well, good ride. Great horse, all the best. Don't have to be too good to win on horses like that, but it's nice to partner them and very well done to Dean and uh, to the whole team and to my sponsor, Vilgebos Drift and Maris Fontaine. Another one, well done. Jockey Del Pesh, Kanamea, Kaya Racing Stables. Dean mentioned Peter De Beo, breathing the sun of Western winter. And after this performance, well, we're all going to see where Dean places him next. And uh, I fancy that he will now be coming out as a four-year-old. A superb performance. A performance, performance out the top draw here with number five last winter. Beating the two Crawford runners, number six and seven, if you caught this trifecta. And then if you caught this quartet, number two, Caribbean Day. Pencil this one in. It looks like a racehorse. Three from three last winter.